<sighs> All right, let's see what they got on Gucci today. Let's see. Oh, whoops. You guys were not supposed to see that. Well, that was embarrassing. Looking up at Gucci, trying to cop some new sandals. These are pretty dope. I just got to work on a tan. 350. Mmm. Because it has a green and red stripe. Not bad. Let's see what else they got. Ooh, these are fire. These are sick. Kind of remind me of a, a Nike slide. 160? Trippin'! I'd rather pay that 350. 160? That loca! Well, they got my size. I might just, I'll check it out. See, if shipping is less than $10, I'm buying them. Alright, so the total is 173. Earlier I said I would have done it if shipping was less than $10. Shipping is free, but tax is 13. I honestly don't think it's worth it. So you know what? This gives me an idea. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to transform your regular Banasi swoosh slide into Gucci, high class, high quality, luxury, formal chunk class. Let's make ourselves a custom. The materials we're gonna be using today include Nike Banasi slides. We're gonna need green Angelus paint, red Angelus paint, leather prepper and the glazer to prep the top. Whoa, where did that white come from? We're also gonna need white. Thank you. Thank you for dropping by white. We're gonna need some cotton squares, anything to prep the leather with. We're gonna need tape to create the stripes. And last but not least, we're gonna need some paint brushes. Now that we got the materials out of the way, let's make ourselves a custom. for the colors to show faster we're gonna need to hit the top with the white because if you just apply the green and the red on the black that's gonna take multiple layers in order for it to show faster so you guys want to hit it with that white and then hit it with that green and red shout out to Angelus for this old body This is what they look like after about three, three and a half coats of white. So right now we're gonna hit both uppers with green. with a bit the vodka, bag of drugs in my neck, vodka's back on the stash. She trying to pin an opera. Sounds so beautiful. Fog in my bifocals, window shopping at the Gucci. No way you want it, but just can't have it. Especially as an artist, don't that shit make you mad? Just breathe, 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 breathe. It's all in your head. No, these labels wanna sign me for an arm and a leg. This is what they look like after about five coats. I personally put five coats. You don't have to. Just the more coats you put, the darker they get. And you know, that Gucci green is a little, it's dark. When you're doing this, you might come across some spots that are lighter just than others. Simply just go over it not too many brush strokes I should cover it up so once they look like this it's time to get out that red and get out that tape you're gonna need your tape finally with the tape we're gonna create a stripe in the middle we're gonna put one tape going across the top and another piece of tape going across the bottom to create a little opening for the red so you can put that Gucci touch when you're cutting a piece of tape, make sure it is long enough that it will go all the way around. This might take you a couple tries, but you know, just relax, take a deep breath. If you need to take a break, take a break. You don't want to mess up the custom just because you get a little angry. Am I right? Count to 10, maybe hit a pillow. When you're taping it, make sure you get all the creases in between and make sure there's no openings or gaps. Once you think you're set, time to get out that red. I'm trying to write my emetic and TV's is panoramic was riding around in a rental and I'm after you feel like you put enough coats of red, let the paint dry. It's time to remove that tape. This is the moment of truth. Once you have finished with the custom, they should look like this. If they don't look like this, then you did something wrong. 
If you guys feel like there's still something missing and you want to add a little more touch to it, I went ahead and painted this logo black. As you can see, it kind of stands out a little more and it can actually show that it's actually a Nike slide. Overall, I'd say this custom came out pretty clean. It's pretty simple. I'd say the biggest flaw would have to be where the tape wasn't sealed tight enough so the paint soaked through. That's why you got to make sure the tape is vacuum sealed and to make sure nothing bleeds through. That's an easy fix. If you guys have the Angelus micro brushes, you can easily paint over it. Just add a little bit of green and it should be fine. Other than that, hopefully I saved you guys $173. If you guys do attempt this, please make sure to tag me at David Got Kicks on Instagram. If you guys want to know where to grab these paintbrushes, I will leave a link in the description down below over at Angelus Direct. These paintbrushes work wonders. I hope you guys enjoyed this custom. If you did, please make sure to smash that like button for your boy. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. There's a red button right there. Hit it one time for me. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. But before I go, I just want to say a quick shout out to this table for supporting what I do. Quick shout out for my arms for always being by my side. Quick shout out for my legs for always supporting me. And quick shout out to my fingers because I know I could always count on them. One more shout out to this tripod for supporting this camera. But until next time guys, it's your boy David Guy Kicks. See you guys later. Make sure to subscribe to me. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Catch you guys for the next episode. <laughs> All right, well I'll catch you bung dice next time. David Guy Kicks, out.